Welcome back to another Video Style Crew. If you're new here, I am Rio. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about and looking at how to style camo. The word camo derived from the word camouflage. What do they actually mean? Camo is simply a print or a pattern, hence what I have on right now. And camouflage will be a disguising of various things or equipment, which is where it originally came from, which was the military. In the 18th century, the tactic was used to use colors to hide special military equipment by using the colors that were around, which was a camouflage. For years, we've taken that print and we simply use it in fashion. And as I mentioned, camo is and probably will be for a long time one of those staples, especially during the fall. Of course, camo can be found in tons of different colors and color combinations, but essentially it is simply just a pattern. Today's color combination we're gonna be focusing on is the woodland camo, which is the brownish and greenish tones that I am currently wearing. The woodland camo, in my opinion, is the most popular camo color combination that there is, but we're all really different here. Some people like the grays, the burgundies, whatever the case may be. I think the woodland is the one that has stood this, the test of time and is constantly and currently used year after year. Now that we have that part out of the way, how do we actually style it? Not like this. This is not the way you want to wear a camo. As you can see, I'm wearing camo pants and a camo jacket with an olive t-shirt and some brown boots. At least I'm keeping it consistent, but it's too much happening, it's too much of a clash, and it's not the way I recommend wearing camo, and a lot of people probably wouldn't recommend wearing it this way. So if you find yourself wearing camo this way, hopefully this video can help you. First thing first, we wanna keep it to one camel piece per outfit. So we just gotta ditch the jacket. This is not a good look. We should be doing one or the other. It should be either the pants or the jacket, but not both. That combination and that look is simply just for the military and it should stay there, or maybe for hunting, but not for street casual wear. But of course there are other options with a camel t-shirt or a camel hoodie. Those things are really up to your discretion. A hoodie is okay because it's very similar to a jacket, but a t-shirt, a t-shirt to know, it's, it's a no-go in my opinion. Instead, what you wanna wear is neutral or earth tone, earth tone colors. Even this t-shirt I'm wearing right now, it's not something that I would suggest wearing because it's too much happening. You want to wear something that's going to complement while not distracting the camo print. No sneakers. You should not be having camo sneakers or camo boots. As you can see on my feet, I have on some brown boots. These are some brown Timberlands and the Timberlands are going to fit the streetwear look perfectly. Of course, Timberland is a street boot. We're gonna be utilizing the camo as a streetwear piece, and they just kind of go hand in hand. The brown color complements that woodland color palette very nicely. And of course, this can also be done with a pair of wheat tims. The footwear should be solid. So of course, a dark brown looks great, or as I mentioned, the wheat looks great. I will, however, be substituting the wheat tims for these wheat Air Force One mints. Similar, if not same color as the wheat tims, so of course, it's gonna work perfectly. The goal here is to complement this camel color pattern, and this does that perfectly. Another option will be this sneaker, which is the Jordan 9 in olive colorway. This is one of my favorite colorways on the Jordan 9. For some reason, it's not something that people like a lot. Me, personally, I do. To me, it's that perfect fall colorway sneaker, and again, those olive tones with the black upper look amazing with that open camo. And of course, you can utilize a black and red color combination, famously the Jordan Red Ones. This combination has been done for years. For a while, it was one of the most popular ways to complement the Woodland Camo color palette. And it's still one of my personal favorites, to be honest. So now that we've laid out a few of those options, we want to talk about what not to do for your footwear. No dress boots, no dress shoes. I think that's kind of obvious because with this being as street as it is, you want to keep your footwear as close to the street roots. So instead of wearing a top that's designed to perfectly match that camel pattern, wear a neutral top that's going to provide some contrast like a black t-shirt. The black t-shirt will be used to pull up those subtle hints 
in a camo pattern. And this is something to use for any camo color scheme. Before we get into our next color tip, we're gonna be talking about some accessories that can also provide complement and bring everything else together. The pieces that you currently see me wearing are by today's sponsor, Rose Gold and Black. I'm currently wearing a necklace and two bracelets. And of course we talked about not overdoing it with matching and distracting away from the print. With your accessories, you can do that because they're a smaller item. With the bracelets, I have a black and then a brown, which of course are two of the colors that's found in this print. Rose Gold and Black also have all of your jewelry accessory needs from necklaces, rings, watches, and of course, the bracelets. They are simply killing it with their quality and affordable pieces to keep you guys looking stylish. So head over to Rose Gold and Black, the link's gonna be down in the description get you some nice jewelry, so you can always make sure that your accessories are top notch. We just talked about the black t-shirt, and of course when we talk about neutral, you can't forget to include white. The white t-shirt provides the perfect contrast for this particular color palette. I personally think that it's something that I would use as a base to layer on top of, opposed to wearing it by itself, but of course this could be done. However, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Again, I'd rather use it as a layering base. And of course we can't talk about black and white without including right between gray. The gray t-shirt is gonna be as neutral as it gets. And if you know me, you simply know that I love a gray t-shirt. As I mentioned with the white, it's something I love to use as a layer piece, but also love to use it as a complimentary top to any kind of bottom. And of course, because it's a neutral, it works great with what we have on with these camel pants. All right, so now that we talk about the neutrals, the white, the gray, and the black, now let's talk about the other complementary colors that you can use, which is the Earth Tones. So many different pieces can be found in Earth Tones, so it makes it fairly easy to find something that's gonna complement and provide that proper color balance. So here I have a couple hoodies from H&M, uh, dark brown and a dark beige, and also this kind of lightest beige t-shirt. What I'm gonna do now, I'll utilize the tips that we've talked about, the footwear and the tops, as our base, and then look at some layering options. I will also be utilizing this denim jacket as a layering piece. Let me know some of your favorite ways to style camo. If you're not following me over on Instagram, make sure you do that, especially if you liked any of the outfits that you saw here. I'll also post some other outfits over there as well. Make sure you hit the like button on this video. That shouldn't go without saying. If you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you hit it with a like. If you are not subscribed, make sure you do that. I have other outfit inspiration and other style tips on the way. So subscribe for more. Thanks again to Rose Gold and Black for sponsoring today's video. And I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Peace.